I'm Elamine Abdul Mahmoud, and this is Pop Chat. Taylor Hussein, it is time to drop something, anything in the group chat. I'd like to hear something that you're watching or reading or listening to, something that you're like, I, I'm into this, and I think it should be shared with the rest of the world because it's nice. It doesn't, you know, what whatever strikes your fancy to share this morning. Hussein, what would you like to drop in the group chat today? Uh, oh my God, like not something that's nice. Um, doesn't have to be nice if you don't want to drop okay. something that's nice, but you know. Yeah, I mean, okay, like, I'm going to drop something that's, like, very obvious because I've been very, like, my 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 uh, consumption tastes have been very obvious for the past kind of month. Um, I just finished watching The Undoing on HBO. Mm. Um, I, I I have, like, some contentions with it. Uh, I think that, like, you know, there could have been, uh, you know, there, there were, like, some interesting lines in that show that didn't get followed through. But I think that, like, it was genuinely quite, a good and fun series to watch. And it was like definitely in terms of like the kind of short lived or the short series thrillers, like I think that it was definitely one of the most entertaining and I don't usually kind of like binge watch shows, but I did binge watch that over two days, um, which might be like indicative of uh, both the fact that like, you know, uh, sometimes you just need kind of, sometimes you need like an over the top uh, drama to like see yourself through to the end of the year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think like Nicole Kidman's great in it. Hugh Grant is really good in it as well. Um, yeah, I would, I would definitely watch The Undoing. That's, that's the thing that I'm dropping him. What's, uh, what's great about The Undoing is that in the show, it was dropped after literally the first episode, Kevin dropped it. And then I didn't watch it then. I was like, oh man, I better, you know, because the election happened. And now you're dropping it after the series has ended. I'm like, this is two times that The Undoing has been dropped in this group chat. So <laughs> I better, I better get on it. Um, Taylor, what would you like to drop? I would like to drop How To with John Wilson on HBO. Um, familiar with that show? I've heard of. I don't know if you've watched it, but um, it's it's basic. It is so good. It is like the only thing that's made me not want to just curl up in a ball and die this year. It's this really wholesome <laughs> show of this guy, John Wilson, um, kind of going around and it's it's hard to describe it's like it's it reminds me a lot of nathan for you and i think nathan fielder like executive produced it mm -hmm. um it's very similar but but not like in the same funny way it's more heartwarming and it's all these amazing scenes of new york and um i'm from new york and so i you know it's just close to my heart i love it it's just it's just such a good escape from reality lovely i will i will get on it um, the thing I'd like to drop in the group chat today is a podcast. It's an episode of Screen Drafts. Um, and the good folks at Screen Drafts, what they do is like they just gather um, every every week, I guess, and they uh, each person, each panelist goes has a has a go, and they pick um, a movie in a category and they draft it to their team, uh, just a, kind of like a regular sports draft, but with 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 movies. Um, so, say for example, we were playing like a Matthew McConaughey movie draft, and I would like immediately draft The Wolf of Wall Street because he's not central to it, but he's such a he's got such a good role in it. And then you know you might draft something else. But uh, this past week, they did a super draft of all twenty two Pixar movies. Um, and I saw I saw the episode floating around um, on Twitter, and I was like, oh, like maybe I'll check this out later. And I, I went to download it just to save it for the weekend, and I saw that it was five hours, and I lost my no, it was six hours, six hours and ten minutes, and I lost my mind. I was like, there's no way I'm listening to a six hour podcast. <laughs> And I regret to inform you that I'm now on hour four and I'm going to make it all the way to the end. <laughs> and I'm just like, wow, I'm so hooked. Like I'm so interested <laughs> in everything that they're doing because I didn't realize that like these movies are so emotional to me. Um, I, of course, like some like I have my favorites list, but all the other ones like have a lot of merits. They really get into the emotionality of these Pixar movies. Um, and uh, like my favorite Pixar movie is is Coco, and I'm not gonna tell you where it ranked um, in the draft, but I just love <laughs> Coco so much. So screen drafts, Pixar super draft. If you have six hours and ten minutes to kill. Uh, by all means, you should do it. And if you don't, like most people, you should maybe do it over like a few days. <laughs> it's it's also fine to do that. Coco is great. I know. I uh, watched it on an airplane <laughs> and I cried. I so Coco is like my go to. Um, Coco is my go to like cry movie. Like when I'm like I need a good cry. I'm just need, I'm just gonna put this on, and for ninety minutes I'm just gonna just weep and it's gonna be fine. And that's it. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, folks, for uh, for for joining me today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Been a pleasure. Thank you to my panelists, Taylor Lorenz and Hussein Kasfani, for joining me today on Pop Chat. 
the show where we try to slow it down and make sense of the cultural drama blowing up the internet. I will see you again next week.